Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is How to Get Spiral the Dragon on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler, and to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, and then into the search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to actually get the game Spiral the Dragon, we're going to have to go into Safari. So go ahead and open Safari, the iDevice's native browser, and when it loads, we're going to type in the URL coolrom.com, just as I am doing here. And now this will automatically redirect you to their mobile website, which is fine because their mobile website is pretty freaking awesome. Anyways, when it loads, you'll have four different options, the ROM search, instructions, emulators, and ROM files. We're going to go through ROM search just because for the sake of this video, I want to use a different method. So we're going to go and type in Spyro, just a vague search. So we'll get different results and we can just pick the one that we want. So when we click on the search, it'll load and take us to the search results. So as you can see here, there is 19 different results, but oh, we have the demo here. For, okay, where is this? Wow, they have a lot of spiral games. I had no idea that there was this many. I only remember playing the classic PlayStation 1 version, but here it is, Spiral, Year of the Dragon version 1.1. Let's see. No, let's, let's look. Here we go. We don't want that one. We want Spyro the Dragon. That is the game we want. Not Year of the Dragon. Who plays Year of the Dragon? I'm just kidding. They're both very good games, but we're going to be getting Spyro the Dragon. And when you click on it, you'll get a screen like this. It has the file name, file size, the system it's under, how many times it's been downloaded, two extremely nice screenshots, and when we scroll down, we see it's rating and... The download now button now what that is that is the download link so when we click download now we'll see up in the URL it has now changed to the amount of megabytes being downloaded to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded so you only have this little um megabytes per second thing going on if you have Safari download enabler so if you don't have it go ahead and get it and if you do great so I'll be back when this download is done. Right. So when the download is done, you should have a screen like this. And from here, we're going to click on the open in option and then finder. Now you only have this option if you downloaded Safari download enabler. And when it opens, you should be in VAR mobile. If not, then just go back as far as you can. And then when you cannot go back anymore, you will be in VAR mobile. Also, it will say right here. Anyways, from here we're going to click on the media folder, scroll down ROMs folder, PSX folder, and here we're going to copy the spiral the dragon.7z file by clicking save at the top right. Now we can go home and open iFile. When you open iFile, you should be in VAR Mobile. If not, then click on the little house at the bottom. This will take you to VAR Mobile. Okay, from here we're going to click on media, scroll down. ROMs, PSX, and now we're going to look for our Spiral the Dragon.7z file by scrolling down until you see it, and here it is for me at least, Spiral the Dragon.7z. Now what we're going to do is click on the file, then click on Archiver. Now what this does is that it's extracting the three files that are inside this .7z file and taking them out into the PSX folder, which we need to be done. 
Anyways, it should take two to five minutes and I'll be back when it is done extracting. Okay, so when it is done extracting all the files, you should be on a screen like this. You know that everything went according to plan when it says everything is okay and finish with result code zero. And also at the top, you can now exit by clicking done. And now when we return to the PSX directory, we shall see that Spyro the dragon dot bin is now here and Spyro the dragon dot q. So that's the files that we need. So we're going to go ahead and go home. Now we can go into the PSX for all application, but we must check that it is not open in the multitasking bar. If it is, then we're going to have to kill it by holding it down and then clicking the red minus. This will kill the application and now we can go into it. Now make sure to kill the application if it is open. Or if you do not, then Spiral the Dragon will not be in the PSX Raw application. So when we scroll down to the S, we'll see that Spiral the Dragon bin is now here. Now we can go ahead and click Spiral the Dragon bin, and this will start the game. And now you guys can see it in action. So whenever you start a PSX for all game, it will automatically load the Sony boot logo. And then after the Sony boot logo, the PSX boot logo, boot logo shall load. And then after these two boot logos, the game will start. So I'll let you guys enjoy the game, see how it runs, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I have a couple of videos here that you might want to see, just click on the one that you would like to see. Anyways, to see more PSX requests videos and other cool videos like the ones on the screen, click on that green subscribe button.